Good morning, Beltline Tigers. This is Mrs. Hawthorne, your principal, with the morning announcements. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the Texas Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for the Beltline Pledge. I am proud to be a Beltline Tiger. I'm one of the best and brightest. I can do anything I set my mind to. I pledge to work hard, respect myself and others, make good choices, and believe in myself at all times. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right, Bellon Tigers, welcome back to another fabulous day of teaching and learning here at Beltline Elementary School. Today is Thursday, October 8th, and we are on a mission to continue the work that we've started. So we want to say thank you to each and every student, each and every staff member for being phenomenal uh, at what you do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's look and see if we have any uh, students celebrating birthdays today. And in fact, we do. So today we have Kasten Wilson. Kasten, happy birthday to you. I believe Kasten is maybe a second grader. So please, uh, if you see him in your class, please make sure that you are saying happy birthday to him. We hope you have a, a, a wonderful birthday today. And so let's make it a great day for you. All right. Today, again, is our Hispanic Heritage Fact, and so we're going to introduce you to Ernesto Antonio Tito Puente. He was born April 20th, 1923, he was a musician, songwriter, and record producer. Tito's career <clears throat> lasted for over 50 years. His music was featured in many films and guest starred on several shows such as The Simpsons and Sesame Street. He is often credited as the musical pope and is known as the king of mambo. So that is Mr. Tito Puente. All right, so we are continuing on with our celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, today is the deadline for our station testing. So students, please make sure that we have a score in for you. For our K through second grade, we need a, uh, we need a score for reading and math. And for third through fifth grade, we need a score for reading. So please make sure that you have gone in and taken care of that. We're going to pull some reports today to see how uh, you're doing and to see how those scores are uh, the completion rate for our school. So let's make sure that we uh, have done what we needed to do with regard to that. <clears throat> As well, today we will have our immunization clinics at L.C. Robertson Middle School, and that will be from 3.30 to 6. So please make sure you're taking advantage of that. Staff members, we know that flu season is coming on, so they do have a flu clinic going on simultaneously. And again, that's at L.C. Robertson Middle School from 3.30 to 6. So let's take care of that as well. And then tomorrow we will have our staff luncheon. So thank you. We've had a number of, of uh, faculty members who have paid their uh, sunshine fees. And so let's continue to do that. Um, but we have plenty, we'll have plenty uh, of food. So make sure you come tomorrow with, a, with an appetite uh, during your lunch break tomorrow. And then finally, uh, we are going to continue to encourage you to register, uh, to go online and register for our Hispanic uh, Paint Night and PTA meeting. Uh, so let's make sure that we are registering so we can get a count. Next week, we will have our uh, uh, pickup for supplies as well as our drop off. So let's make sure we're taking care of that so we can get our uh, paint night. We can ensure that this is a well attended event. We wanna see every child participating in that paint night. Uh, we're giving, we're taking away all the excuses. We're providing the supplies for you and easel 
paint brushes, paint, everything you need. So make sure that you go online and register so Mrs. Wade will be uh, will be knowledgeable of who uh, we need to pack supplies for. So let's take care of that, and we're excited about that as well. All right. Uh, also, next week, go ahead and be planning that all next week we're going to celebrate our breast cancer awareness. And so we want you to find a touch of pink if it's a hair ribbon or a necklace or a shirt or a pin or something but we want we want pink to be represented every day next week so please be planning your wardrobe put on some pink socks some pink gloves a pink necklace jewelry whatever but we're going to celebrate and acknowledge breast cancer awareness week as we um as they continue to look for a cure so let's make sure we're planning for that and also next week on the 13th and the 14th we'll start with math for our uh, fourth and fifth graders you all will be taking um, a beginning of the year assessment district wide so we'll start on the 13th with math and on the 14th we'll take uh, reading so your teachers will be working out a schedule to make sure that you are focused and that you can do your very best because this will help us to know how to plan for you moving forward so let's make sure that we're doing our very best on this assessment that's coming up next week all right students remember our hope for you is to take ownership for your learning and to work hard each and every day towards self-sustaining success so when i say own it you say work it own it that's right i think i heard you second grade from your house so let's have a thinking thursday